The X-Pro 234 crossover is the perfect choice for those who want to fine-tune every detail of their audio system with maximum precision. With strategic frequency crossovers, independent low, mid, and high EQ, and individual volume controls, it delivers the best possible performance for your sound setup. When it comes to connectivity, it offers two balanced audio inputs, ideal for stereo mixers like the T0804 Player FX, and includes input clip indicators for real-time signal monitoring. An integrated media player gives you multiple playback options, including Bluetooth, USB input, micro SD card reader, FM tuner, stereo aux input, 1 8 inch jack, and optical input perfect for connecting to TVs. It also comes with a remote control for added convenience. You get full control with a master volume knob, which adjusts the overall level for Bluetooth, USB, FM, AUX, optical, and both balanced inputs A and B. It also features three band EQ, low, mid, high, and four balanced audio outputs, each with individual volume volume control and clip indicators. Phase correction is possible on outputs 1 and 2 with a switchable setting of 0 degrees or 180 degrees. On the rear panel, you'll find all the crossover configurations. Channels 1 and 2 feature a subsonic filter with four selectable positions, full, 40 Hz, 50 Hz, and 70 Hz, as well as a low-pass filter LPF with full, 90 Hz, 120 Hz, and 160 Hz options. Channels 3 and 4 are equipped with a high-pass filter HPF offering full, 80 Hz, 120 Hz, and 160 Hz settings. You can select between mono or stereo operation modes. In mono mode, you can use just one balanced input B and it mirrors the signal to input A. In stereo mode, two balanced cables are required, one for each input. Today I'm going to walk you through a suggested setup using the Taramps XPRO234 crossover. I brought two subwoofer enclosures and two mid-high speaker enclosures. The subs are the Taramps T1200.1 LF and the mids and highs enclosures are the Taramps T400.4 HF. To feed signal into our system, I'm using the Taramps T0804 Player FX Multicolor Mixer. So, and to drive the whole setup, I brought two amplifiers, one will power the low end, and the other will handle the mids and highs. Both Taramps T2800 Pro Audio. Let me show you how the audio signal is routed through the system. We'll start with the X-Pro234 crossover. Channel 1 output goes to channel A input on the first T2800 Pro Audio amplifier. This will drive the subwoofers. Channel 2 output goes to channel B of the same amp. Now for the mids and highs, channel 3 output on the crossover goes to channel A of the second amplifier. Channel 4 output goes to channel B of that same amp. Both amps are set to stereo mode, and I've set all crossover switches to full, because all the filtering and adjustments will be handled directly on the X-Pro234. On the crossover's mono stereo switch, make sure it's set to stereo. Now for the filter setup, on channels 1 and 2 the subsonic filter is set to 40 Hz to cut out extreme lows and protect your subs. The LPF filter on channels 1 and 2 is set to 120 Hz, letting only the bass frequencies through. The HPF filter on channels 3 and 4 is also set to 120 Hz, so they only play the mids and highs. Now put your headphones on and check this out.
The X-Pro 234 combines design and efficiency. It's compact and robust, built in a 1U rack standard chassis. It's auto-ranging, by volt, so it works with any power outlet, and it uses a switching power supply for high energy efficiency and lower power consumption. There's a front panel power switch for easy operation. With the X-Pro 234, you get full control over your audio, reaching precision, power, and the best performance for your sound system.